Good morning, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. I'm broadcasting you live from beautiful Market City, New Jersey, on this wonderful Tuesday morning in December. And today, I bring you my full depth review of the Magnum Pathfinder plus size tire electric bicycle. The Magnum Pathfinder is a class two and three electric bicycle. It is rated as class two and three due to the fact that it comes with two different power levels, a 36 volt, 350 watt version, and a 48 volt, 500 watt version. What you see here is the 48 volt, 500 watt version. Both bikes, uh, they look pretty much identical. They have the same frame and the same build and the same colors. Uh, only the subtleties will uh, allow you to see the difference between the two. Uh, they're, both, they're both made of 6061 aluminum. Uh, they do not feature a uh, <coughs> front suspension fork. However, the front fork that it does come with is actually an alloy aluminum, uh, which is a little bit different because um, most uh, e-bikes that came with a rigid fork, which is what they call it, instead of having a front suspension, they usually give you a fork that's made out of steel and not actually the same material that the frame is made out of. So that's kind of a welcome surprise. It comes on 20 inch by 3 inch uh, CST plus size tires. Uh, the key word there is plus size, and I'll actually call them fat tires because they're not 4 inches. 4 inches are, are officially uh, labeled as fat tires. It comes with a uh, 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery for a total of 625 watt hours. It features an in hub brushless motor. Uh, you can see it's a little bit on the narrow side, again, because it's not really a fat tire bike, it's a plus size, uh, plus size tire bike. The bike features an adjustable 90mm uh, stem, so in case you really don't like the whole hunched over mountain bike feel. Um, I kind of like the whole little uh, chopper feel, you know, I like uh, with, with the 20 inch uh, fat tire bikes that I own. I typically like to have the, uh, the, the, the handlebar raised kind of high and the seat a little bit low to give you a whole chopper feel. Um, although it does kind of have the profile of uh, a fat tire uh, cruiser bike, um, riding it, it does give you the, uh, the, the, the mountain bike feel. Uh, it comes with an integrated rack uh, that's actually a part of the frame itself. Uh, I believe the rating is 25 kilograms, which is uh, 55 pounds. It comes with a fully wrapping fenders on the front and rear. It also comes with, uh, strangely enough, um, it has 165 millimeter crank arms. Normally, uh, e-bikes like this, you know, the standard is uh, traditionally 170, but they're 165. The main reason is because they needed extra ground clearance because, again, these are plus size tires, not fat, not fat tires. And I guess they were afraid that with the uh, 170 millimeters that they might screw up the ground if you make a uh, sharp turn. Uh, you can see here, it's a little bit boxy on the bottom here. It hangs kind of low. Um, I believe that's because they, um, this is the control module down here also. And the wires are fully, fully uh, concealed inside the frame. So I guess to keep uh, as much available ground, uh, ground clearance as they could have, they gave you a little bit shorter of a crank arm. The Pathfinder's drivetrain consists of the traditional Shimano 7-speed uh, SIS shifter and through fully routed uh, internal wiring <coughs> and cables here down through the frame and back to a Shimano Altus derailleur, uh, which is a little bit of a nice uh, little piece. It's better than the standard uh, 20 derailleur that usually comes on seven speed e-bikes. Uh, it's connected to a 28 tooth to 14 tooth freewheel. Uh, again, pretty much the traditional one that you get on a seven speed freewheel e-bike. Uh, a rust resistant chain right here. Uh, with this nice little uh, composite plastic um, uh, chain guard. It actually features a 44 tooth uh, front chain ring instead of a 52 tooth. Uh, not really geared for a top speed, uh, more for short range, you know, short, short and powerful uh, 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 trips and then mainly for acceleration. Uh, one of the things I noticed about this bike, it, it does seem to be geared more towards like short range uh, riding. Um, the throttle here is, is a twist throttle and although it is uh, kind of unusual, it actually does work at zero, miles per, at zero pedal, zero pedal assist is zero miles per hour. Um, it's a little bit dangerous because you could basically twist the throttle as long as the, um, the bike is powered on and the bike could get away from you. But it seems like they really gear this more towards urban riding. <laughs> we might have to stop and go at uh, intersections a lot. Pathfinder's LCD screen, although looking slightly minimalistic, uh, gives you all the info you need. Uh, it's the, 
buttons here to adjust your uh, pedal assist levels. It gives you sub-menu options, um, information on the operating system, uh, how to reset your mileage, uh, odometer, things like that. Trip meter, uh, not the big, you know, bright, uh, usual LCD screens that you see on other models, but it does give you the information that you need. And again, as I see here, this is pedal assist zero that's in, and you do actually have the ability to move the bike by touching the, uh, the twist arnold. So, uh, again, I, I guess it's good as a safety feature for when you go through intersections, but if you're standing next to the bike uh, and you got the screen on, don't don't lean on it or anything because uh, you might have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of trouble. The, the Pathfinder has a 34 diameter seat post, which is extra, extra wide, extra stocky, and it comes with a Velo seat. It doesn't say anything on it, but it is a, a seat made by Velo. Uh, a lot of other e-bikes have Velo seats also that look similar, similar to this one, or not identical, but it is the same company that, that makes it. The Pathfinder comes with Tetro hydraulic disc brakes with uh, four finger grips and actually have the little uh, adjustable, I don't know if you can see it here, it has a, a little adjustable uh, keyway here in case your hands are on a small site and you need to actually bring the grips in. Uh, my hands are pretty large and I do have to pretty much do a full stretch to pull the, to pull the other brake handle in. Um, if you're on a smaller site, you got small hands, you can adjust this so that they come a little bit in like here and then you can pull them tight. Uh, they actually have 180 millimeter rotors on the front and rear, and for a bike with uh, wheels of this diameter, uh, that's very, very impressive. Uh, again, I think it's um, more geared for urban riding, and they want to make sure that you know you can stop and you can go, you know, as as, as you need to. Uh, the bike also comes with uh, an integrated headlight and taillight set, <coughs> as shown here. Uh, bright LED uh, front headlight and a bright LED, a double LED actually rear tail light that are integrated into the system. And it also has a horn feature that's actually pretty impressive. It's pretty loud. Um, it's better than the little one though. The Pathfinder comes with a generous amount of frame bosses for uh, mounting things like uh, bottle holders or uh, front racks or front baskets. Uh, a lot of uh, options here, uh, pretty much any configuration that you would want uh, for people that, uh, you know, do a lot of uh, cargo uh, carrying with their with their electric bike. Again, I believe that the whole theme of this bike was for urban riding, even though it does have a pretty long range battery, 13 amp hours, that's, that's pretty good. Um, that's a, a good uh, 40 to 50 mile riding range, but it was probably made to do uh, short runs around town and, you know, from shopping and things like that. Pretty much what I would buy this bike for if, it, if I was in the market or something like that. But uh, a lot of features uh, in, in a pretty small package, but a very good package. As I mentioned before, the Magnum's battery is 48 volts and 13 amp hours for a total of 625 watt hours. Uh, no matter what your usage is for the bike, that's a pretty good amount of riding range that you get. There's the status bar here that you can see. Uh, this one's a little right on the little low side. Uh, it is key locked into place, as shown here. Uh, from what I understand, there is a little bit of a trick with how you have to lock it in with the key. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it here, but uh, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. But do watch out about it and ask about it if you do go to purchase the bike. It actually comes with a integrated USB charger port right here for charging your this USB, this, this Type A. Uh, for charging any accessories you might have, uh, your phone or a GoPro. Um, I'm not super fond of where it is on the frame, as you can clearly see right here. Something's going to hit it, either your foot or, or a shoe or something. Um, I guess it wouldn't be recommended to try and charge things while you're riding. I believe you could get like an angle uh, ad adapter to put it in here, and I guess run it up alongside. If you do want to use your things on the go. But um, it's not really something I would try. I'd be too afraid of breaking something off of it. Uh, on this side, you have the, uh, the charger port. The charger comes with it as two amps, uh, making you for probably something like a six to maybe eight hour charge time. And shown here is the key lock for moving and pushing the lock, the, uh, the battery.
go around my view of the Magnum Pathfinder plus size tire electric bicycle. And again, if you're in the Atlantic Cape May region, please don't hesitate to stop by 4A Bicycle Shop. That's 4A Bicycle Shop. If you like the video, like and subscribe. As I promise, more great content coming. Uh, they do have both models of this bike, the 350 watt and the 500 watt version. Again, that's 4A Bicycle Shop at the corner of Fenner Avenue with Little Rock in Fenner City, New Jersey. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I know I said like and subscribe, but like and subscribe. And uh, be safe. See you later.